Yeah, all right. So, new album. I'm going to do like three or four of these tunes just because it's awesome. I love it when new albums come out and it's fun. And this is basic, easy versions of all the tunes. And who knows, I might throw some solos in there later. But for now, this is an awesome, basic, open chord tune that we're going to have some fun with. If you have a request of your own, go ahead and click that link below and I will be sure to get to it as quickly as possible. Other than that, let's zoom in for a closer look. So that's basically what the verse is in this song. Now the intro is E minor. So fingers two and three on the second fret of the A and the D. Then we're just gonna go to a C. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, right? We're gonna do that twice for an intro, and it's just the keyboard. Now, it does a couple. You know, it, it walks into the C chord, so you can do that walking if you want. So what that would be would be A, then the second fret of A, which is the B note, and then into C. Now the keyboard also grabs, if you put your pinky down on the third fret of the B, and then back up. So that C. Right, so it just messes around with that. When the guitar actually comes in, since there's a keyboard, it's very sparse. So what we can do is just strum it real easy. Now what I'm doing is you can do a basic, if you're a beginner, you can just do a real basic stroke. comfortable with strumming, you can add some other 16th notes to it. So that switch back and forth between E minor to C is going to happen five times total, including the keyboard intro. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to G. So what we're going to do there is we'll go to G, now it's the second finger on the third fret of the E, and then the second fret A, and then I'm going to tuck my ring and pinky on the B and E strings, third fret as well. Then I'm going to move to a D, now your ring finger is already where it needs to be, so just drop your first and second finger onto the second fret of the G and the E, hit the D string down. And then we're going to do two counts of four on C. So third fret A, second fret D, first fret B. Two, three, four. So the first count of four on C, you'll strum a little bit. And then just hit the one, two, three, four into what the chorus would be. Now the chorus is gonna go something like this.
Okay, so what we did there is we're gonna go from the G. Now I'm not putting this finger down, I'm using my second finger to mute out the A string. Same chord, right? But we're just putting our finger down to mute out the A. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna take my first finger and put it on the second fret of the E, and then take this finger, my second finger, and go to the second fret of the G. So that gives you a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. Same kind of basic strum pattern, you know, of four on each of these, you know, chords. Then from there, we're gonna go to E minor, and then to C. We're gonna do that pattern twice. So G, D, F sharp, E minor, C. And then we're gonna do an E minor to C to kind of fade out the chorus. So all together. Again, if you want. Now the rest of the song, verse and chorus wise, is nearly identical. So the second verse is the exact same thing as the first verse, although you can throw that F sharp in the bass where the D takes place in that kind of pre-chorus again. And then from there, what we're gonna do is go into a solo and then a bridge, and that's gonna be the first real different part of the song. So let's go into that. <clears throat> All right, so the chorus ends with that E minor to C, again, to kind of the chorus fade out, and then it goes right into another E minor to C progression for the solo. Now it's gonna go. easy chorus. Or but da boom. <laughs> However you want to do it, right? So that first part, E minor to strum it to C. E minor again, this is the solo. Now this part, we're gonna go. So what I did was I did a C chord, and then I basically take my first and pinky or whatever you want. I'm gonna mute out the D string, and I'm only gonna be hitting the B note or the second fret of the A, and the third fret of the B. And then to a D, and that starts the official bridge. From the D, it goes to A minor, and then that walk up. So it's two, three, four, right into the chorus. All right, so all together. back into the chorus again and then that's going to get us into another outro solo which is very similar for that E minor C you're going to do that four times and then it does a, a key change basically 
and it just does, or not really necessarily a key change, but it throws in some different chords than we've been using. So let's go over that part. All right, so on the last chorus, it does the E, C twice, and then it breaks into a solo and it does the E, C minor, or I'm sorry, E minor, C twice more. So you do it four times total basically after the chorus. Then it bricks, bricks, <laughs> ah, then it, I'm just fumbling all over, fumble at the 10 yard line. Okay, so after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a D chord in it. You'll hear the shift. So then it's gonna sound like this all together. on an E minor. So what we've done is we're doing the same kind of strum, the same amount of time per chord. We're just gonna start with a D. So we've gone, I'll just do two of the E, C's and then play the whole thing. So we're gonna go. Right, so nothing's really new under the sun. We're gonna go from D to E minor, D with the F sharp in the bass, to G. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an A suspended fourth chord. So flatten out your A, your A finger. See, it's just falling apart. Flat tire wheels are falling off. All right, so you're gonna flatten out your first finger on the second fret of the D, G, and B. And then we're gonna put our ring finger on the third fret of the B. Four count. Just normal A, take that finger off. And then from there, just a nice easy downstroke E minor to finish out the song. So let's go over that part from the D, here we go. Way to go, another one in the bag. Well done, well done. All right, so again, if you have a request of your own, click that link down below and I will get to it. Other than that, thank you so much once again for joining me here at Papa Stash Pop. Catch you next time.